Alright guys, in this section we're going to look at how to find the least common denominator in rational expressions. We're going to assume that x minus 5 is the denominator in one of our rational expressions, and x squared minus 25 is the other denominator in that rational expression. So the first thing we're going to need to do is factor each. Now x minus 5 can't be factored, so I'll leave it as x minus 5 x squared minus 25 can be factored using the difference of squares. So to factor this, I've got x minus 5 and x plus 5. Again, I'm using the difference of squares. Now to find the least common denominator, you'll notice that we do have some factors they share in common. So that x minus 5 is going to be part of our least common denominator. But we also have this x plus 5 that we need to include as part of our least common denominator. Therefore, both of these factors would represent my least common denominator. Alright, second example. Again, we're going to assume that x squared plus 4x plus 4 is one of our denominators, and x squared minus 4 is the other denominator. And we're looking for the least common denominator. So again, we're going to take each of these denominators, and we're going to factor them completely x squared plus 4x plus 4, we need to factor that first. Since this is a trinomial with a leading coefficient of 1, we know that we are multiplying two binomials. An x times an x will give us the x squared. I need factors of 4 that are also going to add up to a 4. So in this case, those two numbers I'm looking for are a positive 2 and a positive 2. If I multiply 2 times 2, I get 4. And if I add 2 plus 2, I also get 4. So again, these are my factors of x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to factor x squared minus 4. And in order to factor this, I'm going to have to use my difference of squares, kind of like that first example we had. So the difference of squares, we know that the square root of x squared is x. The square root of 4 is 2. We have one factor with a minus 2 and another factor with a plus 2. So again, these are my factors of x squared minus 4. This is using the difference of squares. You'll notice that we have some common factors here. So that's going to be part of my least common denominator, that x plus 2. However, these two remaining factors are not in common, but we do need to use these as my least common denominator, so that x plus 2 is going to be another factor. And this x minus 2 right here would also be part of my least common denominator. So all three of these factors make up my least common denominator. Alright, example number 3. Again, we're assuming that x minus 4 is one of the denominators x squared minus 6x plus 8 is the other denominator. So we're going to start by factoring x minus 4. Now that can't be factored, so I'll just leave it as x minus 4. Now I need to factor x squared minus 6x plus 8. Notice I have a trinomial with a leading coefficient of 1. Therefore, to get this trinomial, we're going to multiply two binomials. We know that an x times another x will give me the x squared. What I'm looking for are factors of 8 that are also going to add up to a negative 6. In other words, what two numbers can I multiply together to get positive 8, but they're also going to have to add up to a negative 6. In this case, those two numbers are going to be negative 4 and negative 2. Notice how negative 4 times negative 2 give me the 8, and a negative 4 plus a negative 2 we're going to add up to our negative 6. You'll notice they do have some common factors. They share the x minus 4. So that's going to be part of my least common denominator. However, we also need to include this x minus 2 as part of the least common denominator as well. So both of these factors together make up my least common denominator. Alright, example number 4. Again, we're going to assume that x squared plus 4x minus 21 is one of the denominators. x squared plus 8x plus 7 is the other denominator. So the first thing we're going to do is come over here and factor each of these. 
x squared plus 4x minus 21 needs to be factored. So, we got a leading coefficient of 1. We know that x times x will give me the x squared. I need some factors of negative 21 that are also going to add up to a positive 4. So, in this case, those numbers I'm looking for are 7 and negative 3. Notice how 7 times negative 3 give us the negative 21. And 7 plus a negative 3 are going to add up to our positive 4. So these are the factors of x squared plus 4x minus 21. I'm going to do the same thing with x squared plus 8x plus 7. We know that an x times an x will give me the x squared. I need factors of 7 that are also going to add up to 8. The two numbers I'm going to use here are 7 and a 1. Notice how 7 times 1 gives us a 7, and 7 plus 1 also gives us the 8. So these are the factors of x squared plus 8x plus 7. Notice we have some common factors. That x plus 7, we'll use that as part of our least common denominator. However, these other two remaining factors, we can't just throw them away. We're also going to use this x minus 3 as part of our least common denominator. And we're also going to use this x plus 1 as part of my least common denominator. Therefore, my least common denominator are all three of these factors put together.